Huge news is TFL finally ready to give the keys over to the Terror Rebels. We've had some pretty interesting information. And are we about to break that level of resistance and go on an insane run for Terra Luna Classic? Want to talk about that in this video and i want to get straight into it because we got this tweet from zaradar and he says we had a meeting with tfl today slight smile so i think they might be starting to get in touch they want to offer us an upgrade that will make staking faster and allow us to unlock the ibc channels it's baby steps at the moment we are just building trust but it's a good thing for both v1 and v2 if we can start to share ip and work together it also gives us more credibility we also have a meeting monday with a crypto fund i cannot disclose at the moment so things are going in the right direction i cannot disclose anymore i don't want to jump the gun or risk scaring them off so pretty exciting news in there if you are a holder of terra luna classic so what has happened well we know that for a long time terraform labs wanted nothing to do with luna classic they were numerous attempts from the terror rebels to make contact with them and they just weren't wanting to do anything now interesting we know. actually got this tweet from duck one as well today which looks like a rocket is my view on its way to the moon now you can put two and two together and come up with six in the crypto world that's the problem but what are we seeing well we're seeing a nice trend we saw a pretty insane pump in the early hours of the morning of the 15th about 4 a.m here in the uk and we've consolidated in sideways we can see the moving average at 10664 which is pretty insane 16 0.87% up and what's more interesting is as we click that we can see the volume is increasing over the number of hours up at 800 billion now that is a pretty solid sign that we are seeing people coming into this now we've seen the global market move we can see bitcoin has moved up 1.35% hovering just under that 21k mark but for luna classic we've got volume and volume is the absolute key to success as people see what's going on we're not seeing aggressive dips which again is kind of nice to see and when we think about what this volume looks like when we see where the next point in which we could really stretch and challenge we are about 1600 and then it's on the way to the two so we're gonna have to really wait and see what happens now a lot of people are speculating we obviously had version 0.5.21 uploading in the next couple of days so we're going to get that on board with all the staking utilities and the coding and a lot of people are asking me in the question around the 1.2 tax being on but it's the code facility it's a software upgrade that that is what's been loaded on there it doesn't mean that every transactional tax is going to be on there but it means the software will be upgraded it's going to be ready to rock and roll we're just going to have to make sure that it's implemented the big question always lies are we going to see big exchanges move on it? Well, we're certainly seeing community members and the community as a whole try and do something, but it's going to be about the big exchanges. We've seen Maxis doing some work. The big one, the one that will always be, and the one that holds all the keys is ultimately Binance. Now, what does things like this bring to the table in terms of Binance? Well, like they say in this, it gives us more credibility. They are absolutely correct. As we start to see things move and as we start to see utility come on and stabilization of the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, this is where we're going to start to see more adoption in terms of exchanges. We might see Coinbase start to come back and list Luna because if it's generating revenue, if we're trading like we are at the minute, nearly at a trillion tokens in a 24 hour period, then why wouldn't they want a piece of that pie? We can see clearly that volume is there. And actually, when you look at the trend, if we move up to the four hour chart, you can see we had this huge bit of volume here back when we went all on that run all the way up to the 16 1700s and then we've dropped back down but as you can see we're starting to form this nice bit of volume so we could see some real explosive moves over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours luna classic as things start to develop as that code lands on the blockchain so pretty exciting news remember if you've made it all the way to this point subscribe to the channel because we talk about terra luna classic every single day as well as everything else going on in cryptocurrency and also give it a thumbs up because that shows that you like it and you're still here but certainly we are seeing some volume start to move i'm pretty excited to see what goes on we've got lots of utility coming down and everyone else is talking about ust are we going to see this repeg to a dollar now we know that luna classic has certainly moved away from an algorithmic stable coin we don't really want that they're too volatile and i think crypto as a general purpose utility is moving away from algorithmic stable coins they're too unstable but up 41.17 percent 217 percent up in volume at 70 million dollars it's pretty nuts right now and you think about the both terra luna classic and ust a lot of people lost a lot of money but 
I, I say this in nearly every video, there is more to come with this project. Believe me when I say it. When you look into these two, there is definitely more to come. USTC, I'm not 100% certain on. You know, there's not tons coming right now. And I don't think it'll pair back up with Luna Classic, but who knows? We'll wait and see if Terror Rebels get full control of this blockchain. I think we could definitely start to see some moves. Let me know in the comments down below where you think the price will be by the end of next week. I'm excited to see what you say. And guys, as ever, thank you for the support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video.